This is the end of Nagorno-Karabakh, the conflicted ethnic Armenian region in Azerbaijan, or so the region's Armenian leader himself. Dissolve all state institutions and organizations under their departmental subordination by January 1, 2024, and the Republic of Nagorno-Karabakh ceases to exist. This comes after a former state minister of the self-proclaimed republic was detained by Azerbaijani troops while trying to escape. On Sunday, Azerbaijan reopened the sole road linking Nagorno-Karabakh with Armenia, the Lachin Corridor, policed by Russian peacekeepers. Four days after Armenian separatist forces agreed to lay down arms and disband their army. More than 65,000 of Nagorno-Karabakh's 120,000 people have fled to Armenia already. A column of trucks snaking through the mountainous region, building traffic jams on the escape routes. Having left everything behind, refugees face an uncertain future. Let the children stay in Armenia. I would like to return to Nagorno-Karabakh. All of Karabakh has been taken hostage by Azerbaijan. That's it. It's all our president's fault. He did all of it. He is the one responsible. Meanwhile, the international community is watching the exodus of Armenians from the region with concern. Number one, we want to see the ceasefire maintained. Number two, we want to see humanitarian needs addressed. That means keeping the Lachin corridor open. It means uh, ensuring that humanitarian supplies uh, can come in. And Azerbaijan's president is optimistic. I'm confident in the success of the process of reintegrating Karabakh Armenians into Azerbaijani society. In Armenia, refugees from Nagorno-Karabakh can apply for housing and support to start a new life there. The so-called Republic of Nagorno-Karabakh came into existence almost 30 years ago through a lengthy war between Armenia and Azerbaijan and has sparked conflicts since then. Soon it might be void of its inhabitants and entering its last days.